that are the most stressed are working women that are now homeschooling children. And as a single parent that is working and homeschooling children, I have been more stressed than ever. That's why I've got this expert on to help all of us. Jordan Jenkins is with me right now. She's a trial attorney. She's got 40 plus years of experience and she's really an expert on single parenting. Is that right, Jordan? <laughs> Thanks for joining us and waiting through that, by the way. Well, I'm a, I'm an expert on single parenting, but not because I had to do it. So okay, so, okay, yeah, I'm 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 seeing what my clients are doing. I'm getting their calls. I'm answering their questions. And I'll tell you the answer to your question. The author of that book, uh, Par- Parenting for Dummies, Parenting and Pandemic. The author's, is, the author's the author's name is Google. Just type yeah. how to whatever into your uh, computer, and that's oh. what we're all doing. That's what we're finding out. I remember when my sister started homeschooling years ago. She was in L.A. She started homeschooling, and she kept calling me and saying, okay, what do I do? What do I do? And my kid went to public school. I went to public school. So I didn't – all I told her was Google it. And these days, so many parents are homeschooling. You can find out the answers so easily. My sister has a website, in fact. Oh, um, totally. So uh, totally. Yeah. yeah. I was just yeah. that yeah. in parenting in a pandemic lately, it's like, so how many hours can I allow my son to play Fortnite? Like, it, I mean, we're in a pandemic and he can't play baseball. So do I get a special compensation yeah, for this? The problem, so- the problem <laughs> is that, that people think that they have to school their kids eight hours a day and they don't because everything that you do with your kids is schooling when you teach your kid how to boil an egg that's part of it when you teach when you teach her how to google how to i took apart my stove yesterday to get the stove light out because it had been out for ages i just didn't get around to it but i'm stuck at home and so i googled how to get the light out of there and i wrote to amazon and i said please send me a new one and it came today and now i'm going to have to put it in so, so, you know, this is what people are doing, and they're learning new ways of interacting, and they're going to, we are going to come out a butterfly. We're going to come out different. We're going to take away mm-hmm. so much from this. Well, I think is what is really interesting that I see in my life, you know, I know I wanted to really talk about parenting right now and support the parent, especially, you know, I, I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, let's support our medical community and let's support um, so many our, our grocery store workers and part of one of my hands going to that I was like, can somebody please recognize the single parents right now yep. that are yep. quarantining yep. alone with children, trying to manage all of these things and and trying to do it so in true. a positive way. Um, not that I want to single us out or anything, because we're all dealing with challenges. But legally, I've noticed um, in, in my, my co-parenting situation has gotten better because of this, because it feels like it's like, well, you know, I mean, let's just figure out a way to work together because that's really our only option. What have you discovered yep. with your clients about co-parenting during a pandemic and going back and forth and who's quarantining well, you know, and who's having play dates and how are, how are we supposed to navigate that? A lot of my parents do their divorces collaboratively, either collaboratively by signing the agreement that they won't go to court or just cooperatively. And so they come into this with a giving kind of spirit. I have a parent who was 223 sharing, so two days with her, two days with her ex, three-day weekends alternated. And so I said to her, how is it going? And she said, well, I haven't seen my kids in 20 days. And I thought, oh, no. Uh Uh-oh, what's going on? I said, so explain. And she said, well, he's immune compromised. And so when this started, they were with him. And I said, you know what? You keep them with you and we'll just see how this plays out. 20 days later, he called her and he said, they've called me into work. I have to go. I'm going to bring them to you. You get them for the next 20 days. So it's and by the way, these two people actually didn't get along that well. Um, she had to work really hard. She and I were very close and she and I she had to work very hard to put up with a lot of his nonsense. But, you well, know, it's, people are working it out. 
Yeah, Jordan, I got to take a quick break, but we're going to come back to talk about some of the parenting challenges you might be experiencing during this pandemic and equip you with the right encouragement. That is coming up in just about seven minutes here at KFBK as we continue to bring you fact-based coverage on the COVID-19 coronavirus. I'm Amanda Carroll on News 93.1 KFBK. This is KFBK Weekend Live, giving you depth and perspective on News 93.1 KFBK. Hi, I'm Amanda Carroll with a special edition of KFBK Weekend Live, the coronavirus pandemic, along with our news updates at the top and bottom of every hour with the latest information. You can follow us at KFBK on Twitter, like us on our KFBK Facebook page, go to KFBK.com and here right now with us, Joran. Joran is an attorney, uh, Joran Jenkins. She's from Florida. She concentrates on really helping everyone get along uh, a courtless divorce is is that actually possible it is right actually i had one of those (laughs) (laughs) yeah exactly most of them are yeah in california there's a really high percentage of single parents compared to many other states so you know not all of us are not all of us can understand so could you help us understand we're all trying to be a lot better at empathy right now understanding what each other's are going through so how could the community be a better support to maybe single parents that are trying to work from home and educate from home at the same time well, you know, you'd be surprised. 50% of all first marriages end in divorce, 67% of second marriages, and 74% of third marriages. So I think actually there are a lot of people who who know about um, single parenting um, one way or another, either because they've been widowed or um, because they're divorced and uh, now they're single parenting by themselves. So, you know, if one or the other of them, they've agreed that the kids are going to stay in one house or the other house, that's really full-time responsibility that they've been sharing all along. And now all of a sudden it's, it's a big deal. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of uh, focus and working a job at the same time and trying to keep up your house. And, oh, by the way, let's not forget, we can't go out to eat anymore. So we're cooking again, and that takes time. So That's all awesome. of the above. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so so um, homemade meals of one kind or another. You know, I say homemade, but I'm thinking, you know, the supermarket is making those takeaway meals now. Um, the restaurants that are offering takeaway that you can still, you know, pick up. Those are wonderful. And just, you know, be kind to each other. That's what I tell everybody. Just be kind. That's really the biggest deal. Yeah, I have uh, one of my favorite authors, Bob Goff, wrote, give away unreasonable amounts of grace like it's the only size it comes in. <laughs> and yeah, I- yeah. I tell you what, I keep addressing that, you know, and one gift, maybe you could use this as an idea if you have a single parent that you know in your life that you're thinking, I want to do something as I'm in quarantine to help someone and I'm not sure what to do. My dad called me. He's like, hey, I'm going to order from Lucille's a family meal for you guys for Easter. And all you got to do is just go pick it up. And it was like the biggest gift that anyone had ever given me. I'm like, really? Okay. Okay. We're going to go pick that up. My sister, my sister called and said, try this. You know, I'm sending people recipes. They're easy. I, um, I, I dug up my mother's green gook recipe from when I was seven years old and I sent it to my baby sister, which is by the way, jello and sour cream and a little bit of pineapple thrown in all of which you can pick up at your local supermarket, you know, and the kids were, you know, they're like, Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. So sharing recipes is a big deal right now, and it goes a long way to helping helping things go smoother. What about the time, you know, there are a lot of um, people that right now we are one week on, one week off. That's always been our schedule, and right. we're keeping that schedule and staying quarantined within our families. So that's what we decided to do. I know everyone's doing something different, but um, – I find that week off is extremely isolating. Do you have any encouragement for the families that are swapping kids back and forth? And then what do you do when you are self quarantined? Like you go from, you know, all on all the time to absolute quiet. <laughs> do you have any you know, encouragement for that time? Yeah, I, I published a blog recently on how to use zoom 
for my, for all my clients, all my past clients, my future clients, my present clients. Zoom is easy, and there are similar apps. So I am spending a lot of time. I work on my computer all the time, but now I'm socializing on my computer. I'm going to cocktail parties on my computer. Okay. I grab a glass of wine. I sit down. I dial in, and I say hi. Um, those are amazingly valuable. And again, I think that we're going to be taking away new skills. Now that I've learned to use Zoom, I'm, I may be doing this more, you know, my, my collaborative practice groups meet all over the state. I can now attend those meetings because you know what, why not? It's a dial in. It's not a get in the car and drive three hours. So this is how I'm seeing my friends, and I think others are doing the same thing. I'm connecting on the computer. So you feel like that would be a good option for those times that parents are alone? Oh, they, absolutely. Yeah, I, I will think tell so, you, too. I've done those. I miss, I miss hugs tremendously. I know. Oh, my gosh, I miss hugs. My husband's getting more hugs than he's used to. But, <laughs> but you know, it's the next it's the next. <laughs> It's the next best thing. It really is. We were just talking about it last night at last night's cocktail party. <laughs> your Zoom? Yeah, your Zoom party. You know, I find yep. it any time that I find that I'm thinking about missing hugs or missing something and feel negative about it. This show is really all about how do you get your brave on, focus on the positive, And then I decide, okay, no, instead of lamenting the loss of something like that. I'm going to look forward when I get to do it again and and yes. try to focus on experiencing that and teaching my children to do the same with my son. Um, but live miss, in the moment. Yes, live in the moment. I, yeah, I that's a little hard. I, I want to fast forward, forward this moment, moment, though. I want to skip yeah. this moment. I want to do that no, little thing on your remote. No, no, no. I have to no. tell you, I may be a little bit too exuberant about this, but I am learning so much that I didn't know yet and I'm taking away so much. I truly think that we're going to come out of this with all these new skills and new pro new products. I mean, there are restaurants out there that wouldn't have thought twice about uh, takeaway meals, those fine restaurants that are now doing takeaways. They're not going to stop just because the coronavirus goes away. That's not going to happen. We have created new product lines, and they are going to stick. So I just, I believe in the entrepreneurial revolution. It's here and it's working hard and we're all going to benefit from it.